is trouble emerging in the veterinarian business in the form of a mental health crisis. 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough spoke to those at Hearts Alive Village about what's at the heart of the issue. Here at Hearts Alive Village, it's been a struggle to staff vets for various reasons, but what many don't talk about is the high suicide rates among these doctors, too. So this is a very special piece that we had made for a very special woman. Christy Stevens, executive director of Hearts Alive Village, showing 8 News Now a piece of artwork that was done in honor of a veterinarian who committed suicide five years ago. Her loss um, was absolutely tragic, and so we want to make sure that everyone's reminded every day of her sacrifice and that her legacy truly lives on. A mental health crisis not many know about, except for those in the field who endure the strenuous working conditions day in and day out. Unfortunately, I do have friends and colleagues who have, you know, committed suicide, which is unfortunate. It's easy to get lost in that why am I going through all this? It's so much to bear. According to the CDC, one in six veterinarians have considered suicide throughout their career, and between 15,000 and 18,000 veterinarian openings will go unfilled by 2031. They recruit us hard because of the shortage. Um, I was getting recruited my third year of vet school. From the lack of veterinarian schools to low wages and high turnover rate, the ability to hire veterinarians and vet techs has not been easy. The biggest thing for us is to retain who we have. And honestly, it's been two years of, of difficulty for us finding the right veterinarian to fit what we're doing. And Heart to Live Village doing what they can to combat the crisis, even offering unlimited off-site therapy to their staff in need. Reporting near Cheyenne and Decatur, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.